everybody welcome back today we have decided we are going to take a little uh, trip down to the Cape of Good Hope Nature Reserve this morning it's hot out here today um, but we've taken uh, a bit of a drive you won't be able to see but in the background here there's some buck um, beautiful spot here the ocean just over here behind us and it's absolutely gorgeous so we can take a bit of a walk we're down a little part of the reserve called Olifants Bay or something like that um, there is a bit of a shipwreck we're not uh, certainly not set up for uh, hiking today but we are going to take a walk and see where it goes and we'll take you guys along with us settle in I don't know where to go to from your bed, do you? Yep. Oh well, we just... Um, I'm following you, blindly. You've, uh, blindly the blind and they both fall into the ditch. <laughs> but check these views. This is absolutely breathtaking. Hey, there's some other people. Hello! When last did you see a view like this? You know, they say that doing the same thing over again and expecting different results is the definition of insanity. And here I am again, walking on rocks, got my pluckies on, and expecting to have a peaceful transition down to the water. I don't know how good of an idea this is. Hold on. Okay, so we made it. I'm not much of a beach person, but um, every now and then I do enjoy coming down to the water and just taking in the awesomeness of the noise, the crashing, the calamity. And this water is absolutely breezy. Dora the Explorer As long as it's not your George, watch out for that tree So this is turning out to be a bit of a funny one. I have an insole for my shoes that was stuck onto my pluckies. Um, for those who don't know what an insole is, it's a piece of material or what is it, rubber? That, it's a piece of rubber. That the physio gives you when your body sort of like misaligned. So, so to try and correctify the yeah. misalignment. I, I, I'm nothing special. I've got one shorter leg than the other. Check there. Wait, wait, wait. There we go. There we go. Check the little lizard. Sea <laughs> <C> spot run. <laughs> <laughs> I love the lizards. Um, so Lindy passed us and she was like, hey, that looks like your insole. And then I realized that it had come off. And just a moment before that, huh? just a moment before that, I picked up her asthma pump that she had dropped on the way in. Um, she had walked right over it, didn't see it on the way out. And I was like, Hey, is this your asthma pump? We might need that. And we have made it back. The sanctuary of the aircon is about to come on. Ocean meet 
they put up an awesome little plaque there and everything like that but I must just put a disclaimer in if you go and look on a map this is not the most southern tip of Africa uh, that's actually in Cape Agulhas which is about 300 kilometers up the east coast from us it's very untourism -y compared to where we are today I really wish that you could just take in the smell of what we smell here the seawater here is so fresh I'm not going to say I told you so but I told you so we've made it to the most southwesterly point of the African continent and it's just amazing here the mountain behind me the ocean and although it's not the most southern tip of Africa where you can go and put one foot in the Indian Ocean and one foot in the Atlantic Ocean it's just awesome Hey, so we've just made it to the top up here by the lighthouse we took a little tram ride to get to the top here um, and we'll head up and walk up to the lighthouse shortly but this was meant to be just a little walk up to the lighthouse but these steps give it like a workout after you had a hectic day in the gym yesterday um, but we almost there And if we don't get blown over, by the time you see this, we should have some epic footage to show you guys. Can't see in there. That must be something else now, because those blinds weren't there. Here's another little lizard. He's taking a, a little bit of a break. <laughs> Hubby's gone ahead and to go and say that he's walked all the way to the end and um, I'm sitting chilling waiting for him. Well, you are looking at the greatest adventurer of all time. I have made it to the end of the world. Here behind me you can see uh, down below there's other little lighthouse down there. And this viewpoint is just incredible um, and I know I keep saying that but it really is to stand here and to look out across the ocean and see the other mountains the bay and then you have a look at all of these little buildings right on the edge here. and first of all like imagine trying to make these bringing them all down this path here that really wasn't a path until 
you know, modern man came along and and uh, fixed it all up. But then to build it on the edge, uh, and then the stories that must have been told inside these little rooms and the rooms that uh, the stories that got taken home from the people that were in those rooms. But anyway, here it is. Enjoy the view. Well, folks, we're going to cut it here. Um, so I'm going to head back up to the top now. We'll check in again once we're back on the road and once we're going to end this off. Uh, we'll probably finish off this evening with some burgers with our parents, have a bit of a chilled evening, catch up, chat to you later. I see her. Her. Look at that smile. She knows she missed out on some adventure. crazy earlier and now we've just been rained on we don't know why it's called the cape of storms because literally out of nowhere it just came in like check this out it's weird anyway welcome to welcome to cape town anyway now we're really out of here uh, this has rained on our parade we need to get out of the park we've got to be out within the next short while whatever it is but Jess, welcome to Cape Town where you get four seasons in a day, including sunshine and rain.